Welcome to Torque Gamers. We're opening another Costco exclusive pack today. This is the Scarlet and Violet mini tin set. Yeah, we're gonna be opening this up, talking about the promos and seeing if this is actually worth its $40 price tag. As you can see, there are quite a few things in here. There are four Cosmos hollows. Doesn't look like any of them are actually like real promos. They're just the different style of hollow. And then we do have five of these tins. Each tin has two packs in it. So this comes with a total of 10 packs. I'll go through these promos pretty quick. Uh, they're not really anything special. Not a huge fan of Cosmos Hollows. If you don't know what that means, basically like this Gyarados card is from Paldea Evolve, as you can see down there. And he most likely already has a hollow. This is just like a different speckly pattern. It gives him generally like a dollar or so extra of value so not anything special you'd have to be like a very big time collector to like actually care about getting the cosmos hollows versions of things so i just don't really give them that much value cloth uh yeah we got orth worm and then luxray so yeah nothing to get super hype about here i'm not sure what's going to be in these tins i would guess paldea evolved and scarlet and violet base there's only one way to find out though i'm just guessing that from the promos because they're all from paldea evolved or scarlet and violet okay so we got quaxley elvis duck and um smoliv yeah i don't really know what he's doing there these tins generally have pretty good hit rates and then scarlet and violet sets normally have good pretty good hit rates so Kind of bet we'll get something good here i'm not a huge fan of these mini tins they're just i mean they look cool but they're just kind of useless you can't really like store anything in them so like my past ones like the Sinnoh stars one i got from costco i ended up just throwing them away after like a month because they just take up a lot of space all right so they all are going to come with this piece of paper which is just the art from the tin and they all connect together to make like a image I guess they also come with like a sticker now. Okay. All right. And then we've got Scarlet and Violet and Silver Tempest. I'm really shocked to see Silver Tempest in here, to be honest, and not super excited. Uh, they used to come with a coin, but I guess maybe the coin was replaced by the uh, sticker. Uh, yeah, that doesn't... S I mean, I don't know. Coin's not great either, but it does seem slightly better than the sticker. I don't know. We got... Huh? What? Dracloak? Isn't it supposed to be Dragapult? Does he have a middle evolution? If he has a middle evolution, I literally have never seen it in my entire life. I'm dead serious. We've got Spinda doing some swirls, gym trainer. Fioni, wow, I've not seen a card of Fioni since I was like 12. All right, Scarlet and Violet. I, I do like Scarlet and Violet base more than the average Joe. Uh, I still need that Coridon alt art. That's what I'm looking for nowadays because I got the Maridon and I also got Miriam. So, what the? Okay, I just think I'm just tripping. I just saw this attack Mise in place. Or, and I was like, bro, that ain't English. But I think I just don't know what that means. I think I'm tripping. Now for our second tin. We have Spaghettito, Spaghetti Cat, and um, Doe. Dough Ball. It reminds me of those like pictures of pugs when they are sleeping and they look like a piece of bread. That's what I always think of when I when I see that. I have some family members with pugs, so I'm around them quite often. All right, here is the picture and the sticker. Looks like it'll be Silver Tempest and Scarlet and Violet all around. So as far as value, $40 for 10 packs is nothing special. It's really, you know, 40 bucks is what you'll pay for a lot of ETBs and they'll have, you know, around 10, between eight and 10 packs, depending on what set you're opening. So it's not really crazy there. And then the stickers and like extra things in here really aren't gonna attribute to much value, like a promo from an ETB. It's gonna be worth more than stuff in here, I would guess for the most part. Not something you need to run out to go get, to be honest, like, whoa. It's just, it's fine, but Costco normally prices their Pokemon cards like at first, an okay deal? No! Seriously, are you kidding me? Yeah, normally they price them like okay-ish, and then 
after a couple months they'll go on sale and then it becomes a good deal. So my general rule with Costco is wait, but I don't. Maybe I'm not being honest with you guys. No, I am. I'm just not spending my money wisely, I guess. All right, so we got Foy Coco, great starter, and two Smolovs back there, uh, not having the same problems as their brother, I guess. This, all right, the hits have been quite atrocious out of here thus far. I guess we'll uh, pray for better from here on out. It's rare, to be honest, that you actually like make up the costs of a Pokemon product with the things you pull, but I did with the uh, Pikachu box I just got from Walmart. So that was really quite sick. I uh, watched that video if you haven't, that Black Friday deal might still be going on. Worth getting, much better value than this. I mean, if these were Crown Zenith packs, it might might not be a horrible deal. It still would be worse than that Crown Zenith deal, I think, though. Okay, come on, Scarlet and Violet. Show me something. Show me a little love. It's a Titan, Flaffy, it's a Toddle. Holy shit, this is so bad. All right, we got two more of these tins. So we got Pikachu with the Capsa Kids. Some more garbage. Oh, wow, Reggie Drago. Everybody's favorite Reggie. Yep. Okay, we got Fungus on the front. That's a great sign. Love my little Fungus, dude. Dedenny, also a great sign. Marpeko's not as good of a sign, to be honest. Halucha, Relicanth, Rufflet. Holy crap, this sucks. When I'm opening these mini tins, my desk also gets so cluttered. I guess it's just because there's like more than there is out of most things. Okay, flip a bait. We are literally almost done and we've gotten nothing. This is so bad. And normally I think mini tins are like stacked. Sheesh, please. Oh my hell. Last tin, Lechomp and Pommy or Pomot. Or, I think this is Pommy and then it's Pomo then Pomot. I don't, I don't know that exactly though. All right, the sticker and the piece of garbage. I guess they're both garbage. Last two packs from this absolute trash. Sheesh. Dewpider on the front. Dewpider has a kind of crazy shiny for him. Whoa, okay, that was, whoa. Uh, yeah, I think I have nothing in this. I think I just spoiled that for myself. Anyway, Dewpider is like an underwater astronaut. Cool idea, but holy sh... Okay, Scarlet and Violet, please. This is literally like just $40 of garbage. Like this could go straight to my, what do, what do English people call it? Waste bin or something? They don't say trash can like normal people do. Anyway, these cards can go straight there. Holy cow. Yeah, I was gonna save this for a time that I needed it and this seems to be that. I'm zero for 10, I really need some help. All right, we got a code, Glaring Articuno. I think Glaring Articuno is insanely cool. However, this card is not that cool to be honest. All right, we have four chances to make up this loss. Crown Zenith is good at double hits though, so maybe I can bolster. <laughs> My score, holy cow, this has been so bad. Trekking shoes. Yeah, he be trekking. Yep, yeah, the old dude's back. He's climbing the mountain, Mount Everest. Radiant Charge Bug. I, I, yep, that's my first hit. I can't believe it's gotta be Radiant Charge Bug, but I'm gonna be happy about it. Ooh, with the, yeah, the electricity. That's fitting, those suckers together. I will call that a double hit. Makes us two for 12, so <laughs> that's better already. Holy crummy. This thing is like bent out of its mind. Uh, okay, so yeah, Volcarona at the end. There's gonna be probably nothing in here. Oh, shit! This is freaking sick. Basket crash, a Hisuian Samurott V. I had no faith, but uh, they, it did come through. The Volcarona tricked me. This is like so aesthetic. He's like looking at the volcano. We got some fall colors here. Yeah, Crown Zenith uh, went hard, to be honest. I don't know if this card's gonna be worth much. It's Crown Zenith, so there's cards that look like they'd be worth like 20 bucks, but they're actually worth like five. So that's probably what this is, but I'm happy nonetheless. Seriously, man. Why do people open anything but Crown Zenith if they're not like collecting something specific? I don't know. Especially right now with Crown Zenith being really reasonable in so many different places. It's just crazy. Ponyard, Krikatot. Okay, we got that electric energy again. See, this is what I don't get. So I just got this elect... Wait, what? Are the... 
I think they're different. That does not, like this, this one that I pulled in the hollow slot is like textured and this one is not. This one has a number on it, like 155 and this one does not, like how, that does not make any sense. But like the arts are the same. I am so confused right now. Something seems off. Yeah, so we're four for four with Crown Zenith. No, three for three. Hopefully we'll go four for four. That was just um, telling the future. Look at this. Can you see that bend up there? What the heck? How does it get bend when it's in a box? This whack. Okay, we got the lost vacuum. Yes. I love losing my vacuum so then I don't have to clean. Marie. Okay, well, we're four for four. I did get this for my last video, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that tin. Sheesh, bro. Cali Rex green version i thought he was like purple or blue um that's weird but yeah that's that's pretty crazy i love crown zenith anyway gamers uh totals if you like this video yeah check out my other crown zenith videos i've got two of them and uh i'm always open to suggestions of things that you guys would like to see open so let me know if you like the costco content uh yeah i, I i'll keep doing it okay bye gamer